makeup tutorial kind of thing where I show you how I made this makeup tutorial. At the beginning I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but then I kind of figured out that I wanted to try out my new green eyeliner that I have. So as you can see I'm wearing green eyeliner and then I thought bronze look would go together and then this look just happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's not much more to explain. This is my first video that I've done a, what's it called, voiceover, that's the word. The first video that I've done a voiceover with, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and let me know if you want to see more makeup tutorials like that. Um, I've been thinking about doing my everyday makeup tutorial, like the one where I just wear to school every day. It's pretty simple, but it's still as, it's still as a routine, I guess you could say. So I could definitely do that as a video, and let me know if you want it to be like a voiceover, like this one, or just let me know what you guys like, okay, in the comments below. So now let's get on to the video. Okay, so first I'm going to take my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, and I'm going to use it as a primer. Just kind of put it all over my face, and blend it in like I would with a moisturizer. Then I'm going to take my foundation, which is Maybelline Fit Me in the Dewy and Smooth in 120 Classic Ivory. Just going to kind of dot that all over my face. And then take my Beauty Blender, which is actually a different brand, but does the same thing. And just kind of blend that in all over my face. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Fair. And I'm going to make upside down triangles underneath my eyes. It's kind of hard to tell in this, but that is what I'm doing. I'm also using it as an eye primer just to cover up everything. And then I'm going to get, once again, take my beauty blender or whatever. And then I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 004 Sandstorm. And my brush by Luxie, the 504 Large Angle Brush. And just set my concealer under my eyes and on my eyelids with that. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Total Face Brush and just kind of blend that all in. Use a little bit more powder. I don't want to get too cakey though, but just kind of make sure everything is set the way that it should be. Next, I'm going to take my blush, which is Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild, and just very lightly put that on. I already have pink enough cheeks. And then I'm going to use this brush by Crown Brush. I don't really know the name of it. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Contour Palette, and I'm going to use the two darker shades and just kind of mix those two together and then go where my natural contour is. I already kind of have one, but I just like to kind of add to it. And then take my e.l.f. Total Face Brush again and just kind of blend that all together. And then I'm also going to go on my temples with that and just kind of add a little bit of shadow right there. Then I'm going to take this brush by Me 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 <laughs> and I'm going to apply my highlight just kind of on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I realized that I forgot to say what it was. And it is the Reserve Your Cabana Highlight by Wet n Wild. Clearly I love it because I use it all the time. It's just a really, really good highlight. <laughs> Rolling my eyes at myself. Great. Now onto the eyebrows. I don't know what these faces are. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Dark and just this random Walgreens brush. And I'm going to mainly focus on the second half of my eyebrows and get those the darkest and just kind of making small strokes. And then I'm kind of going to go over a little bit on the rest of my brow. And then normally I use a spoolie but I couldn't find that so I just use this e.l.f. professional brow comb and brush and it still did the job just not quite as well. Next I'm going to use my Essence Make Me Brow in the shade 02 Brownie Browns. And this is just like the Benefit Give Me Brow, or Give Me Brow, I think. And I just kind of put that in, it helps them look fuller and everything. <laughs> Wasn't my best brow day, but it worked. Then, when, then I'm going to use my Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and just using that one color, just to put it kind of in the crease as like a base shadow. I've learned that that sh shade works really good for that, just I use it almost every day. And then you can't see, but I pointed to a dark brown, and I'm just going to kind of darken up and define my crease a little bit more, and just make sure that's really blended. Then I'm going to use my Maybelline Color Tattoo Pigment in Breaking Bronze, and just pack that on with my finger. <laughs> this looks so good, I love the way that this looks. And then I'm just going to take that brush just to kind of blend it right there. Then I'm going to use this darkish medium brown and 
kind of darken that up. Then I'm just going to use this face powder and it, I don't even know the name of it, but it works really good as a highlight for eyeshadow because it's almost got a little bit of shimmer in it. Then the star of the show, this is the Model Launcher Felt Tip Liner in Emerald Isle. And I'm just going to put that on my upper um, lids. I couldn't think of that word, but just going to put it right there. And then I decided to put a wing on there because I just love the color of this. Then I'm going to use this Dulce, Dulce Cosmetics Ultra Precision Eyeliner in, I don't know, black, I guess. <laughs> just put that on the outside of my eyes just to add a little definition and smudge it. Curl my lashes so this is boring. I'm just going to skip most of this. And then my Smashbox X-Ray Mascara. I'm out of frame and this is also really boring. So I'm going to skip most of this. I take forever to do this stuff. I don't know why. Then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator in clear. I think there's like other ones now. This is just the clear one. And then for my lips, this is the Ofra Lip Liner in Wine. And this is completely out of frame. I apologize. You'll see what it looks like at the end. There we go. That's it. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it turned out really well, and I really like it. So I hope you guys do too. Again, like I said in my intro, let me know if you want to see more makeup tutorials like this, if you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, that's about all I have to say. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, any suggestions you have for future videos, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.